So what's up, y'all? It's the expert bowler. I want to just talk a little bit about the season beginning, the season starting, some of the things you might need to do when you uh, first go out to practice before you hit the lanes for your league night, right? So you might not have bowled in a while just because, you know, COVID's going on. Maybe you've been in the house. Uh, one of the first things you need to do is check your fit. So after you don't bowl for a little while, your balls typically won't fit the same. Your hand will shrink a little bit. So, you know, check your equipment, see how it feels. Those holes will probably be a little uh, bigger than they used to be. So let's get some bowling tape, right? So that's one of the first things we should do. Get some bowling tape. Make sure you get some bowling tape, put it in your ball. This is why I would take my bowler's tape. I usually use the back side of the, the tape, right? The backing that it comes on to put it in the, the hole. So I don't need to have any of those special tools or any of that stuff. And I'll take it, I'll flip it around whether I want to put it in the front or the back, which usually I put it in the back. Um, then I would take it and I would put it in there. I wiggle the tape backing out and then boom. Now that hole fits tight and good like I want it to. Piece of bowling tape probably help you out. Make you feel a little bit better about your fit. Uh, give you a little more control. Make you not stress or strain your muscles as much. That's real important, especially when you're just coming back. Um, the second thing I'll probably recommend that you do is I'll recommend that you stretch. Stretching is probably one of the most important things to prevent injury. So I'll stretch before I leave the house. I'll also stretch before I hit the lanes. So I would suggest that you make sure, number one, check your fit. Number two, do some stretches, all right? So we'll take a little break real quick. We'll get the, our, our equipment set up. We'll put some tape in it, make it feel good. Then we'll kind of kind of go through how we warm up as we start bowling. All right, so one of the, the next things we do after we checked our equipment, we did some stretches, is I like to check the approach before I start bowling. Uh, you just never know if you stepped in something, uh, kind of coming in or somebody spilled something, or if the approach just needs a little maintenance because it hasn't been taken care of greatly. Uh, you always gotta just make sure you check the approach. So the way I do that is I'll kind of go up and I'll just take some test slides, All right? So I'll kind of get up there and I'll take some test slides in the corners to kind of see how things are. I'll check the middle out a few times and I think that I can slide well and everything will be good. So I kind of take some test slides and see how that's going uh, just to make sure I'm not going to injure myself when I throw those first shots, right? So uh, we kind of did a little quick stretch, a little quick warm up. We'll uh, kind of take some first shots. My first shots are never, ever, ever, ever full speed. It's kind of like 30%. I kind of just go up there, take a few steps, take a abbreviated uh, backswing, and then I'll let her loose. All right, so as you can see, we kind of took a quick little shot, kind of about 30% just to kind of get things checked out and, and, and kind of loosen up the old bones, you know. Uh, but I think it does two things, right? It kind of lets us know what's on the lane, right? Because we didn't take a full shot, but our ball kind of just cruised easily down the lane. So that let us know that at least there's some oil in the middle part of the lane, which is good, right? That kind of lets us know that, you know, it could be something playable out, something that's, you know, not gonna make us do too, too much work. But that's really important, you know, to take your first couple shots slow and easy and just kind of get a feel for what's going on. All right, so that's a good sign. Kind of threw a little shot there and uh, kind of moved to the right a little bit and it kind of got down the lane and. I can see kind of where the friction was. It made a good move. So that's promising. I really think that, you know, that allows me to understand that there is some friction, there is some oil. So it'll be a decent practice session. I'm not going to be wasting my time, even though, I mean, getting reps in on anything kind of helps, but uh, I won't be wasting my time bowling when it's the absolute burn. I got to throw my spare ball, uh, which has happened before. So let's just kind of see 
What's going on? Oh, okay. That was a plastic ball. That's concerning. And I'll tell you, even when I practice, I still go through my pre-shot routine. So, let me see. So I still wipe my ball off every time. I use the big fluffy pad by CTD, which I write my name on so that it doesn't get lost. But I still wipe my ball off and I still do my pre-shot routine. All right, so like I said, we just kind of take it easy and throw some shots and kind of see what's going on. Uh, I'll tell you, like, I know a lot of people, right, they'll go out and they'll buy a ton of new equipment for the new season, which is fine. It's cool. It's all good. Get you some new equipment. Get ready to, you know, go light them up on the lanes. But I never, ever, ever start off with, like, my newest equipment that I just drilled. I always usually start off with a ball that's, like, old faithful. Something that I've had, that I bowled a lot with, that I'm familiar with, that I know fits good and it's gonna feel good. You don't want no injuries at the beginning of the season. It'll kinda, it, it'll suck, it'll suck. But let's go, let's get some shots in. All right, so I've bowled a few frames, five or six frames, five frames. Um, so I'm still not 100% warmed up, right? But. I can increase my speed a little bit and kind of really see where I could play on the lane. I know we had a little bit of an indication where we could play because of the shots that we threw at 30, 40%. So now we're probably like 60, 70%. So we're like two thirds of the way there. You know, we still do our pre-shot routine. We get our ball, we wipe it off. We won't really like line up, line up, but we'll kind of get roughly lined up have a rough target just to kind of see what happens and we'll make a shot at about two-thirds and the other effort and see what happens quite a bit of friction when you keep it in it looks like I wonder what happens if I kind of throw it away from the pocket a little more. I usually throw it pretty firm, like 17, 18-ish. Uh, these shots are like 15 miles an hour, barely peaking 16 miles an hour. So this is like 70% for me. By the time usually I'm to like my A frame or so, I'm pretty much warmed up and ready to rock and roll and ready to throw full shots. So we only at the seventh frame, but we basically there. So I'll inch a little more right, try to see if I can get away from that middle part of the lane. Seems like it's just a lot of friction overall. Uh, there is oil on the lane, but the it could be the pattern. The pattern might just be kind of short. It might be uh, a bit of volume. If you throw it away, it seems like your ball pushes pretty good unless it's in the middle. So that just might be something that requires a, a little more finesse, a slower ball speed and kind of throw it away from the pocket, allow the ball to take what we got. Uh, I probably could ball down to something less aggressive. I only bought two balls in my spare ball just because it's practice. But this ball I'm throwing, I'm throwing a, one of my favorite balls, a Vapor Zone Hybrid. It is mildly aggressive. It's not any surface on this, like lane shine. So it's probably like 4,000 grit finish right now, but it is an aggressive ball. Yeah, so that's interesting, right? I threw it away from the pocket a little more and it kind of labored to come back around. So that would have been like a washout. All right, so there are some things that uh, I see people do that I typically don't do, but you know, to each his own. 
So I typically won't throw my spare ball much while I'm warming up, just because I, I typically throw it hard and straight at my spares for the most part anyway. If I'm not loose and I'm not comfortable, I'm using a plastic ball. So if you wanna know what I'm throwing, I got my CTD creating a difference, spare ball, my plastic ball. And that's what I primarily will shoot at, like my single pins in the corners, the six, the 10, the four, the seven. Uh, I don't traditionally throw it at like the two or the three pin. I'll shoot like the three, six, 10. I'll throw it, uh, stuff like that. But traditionally, multi-pin spares, especially at league or on the house shot, I'll throw my strike ball. Um, well, even when they're harder, a lot of times I'll throw my strike shot at certain spares, like the 2.8 or even the four pin, just kind of depend on what we bowl know and what the uh, margin for error is. But I don't typically throw my spare ball much. I usually use uh, my strike ball just so I can get those reps in, get warmed up, see what the patterns got, and just maximize every shot that I throw uh, while I'm getting loose. Like I said, I noticed one thing that there's quite a bit of friction. I'm probably not throwing the right ball. I'm sure we could probably make this work. We could maybe bag our hand out of it a little bit or kind of find an angle that allows it to be playable for us. All right. So that was a little closer to full speed. I left the 210. That was a, a bit closer to a normal shot for me. I did bag my hand out of it a little bit just to kind of see if we could get the ball down the lane, which it was better, it was better. So this would be like one of my first times really throwing my spare ball. I'm still not 100%, but. I think we kind of had a good place to, to start right there where I just threw that shot where I 210. At least that let me know it's some hook. My ball did come back even though I got it pretty far to the right. I think if I would have thrown that normal with full revs and everything, that probably would have hit the face. So let's just kind of start there and see what happens. I'm nine frames in, I'll take a full approach. Yeah, like I thought it would hit the face. I got a bag down out of it just a little bit. Ball's a little too strong for the pattern. It's not the textbook way, but it works. We'll keep that angle kind of the same, but try to use a little bit more of the lane. That looks good. All right. That looks a lot better right there. Use angle to get the ball to push. It's a lot of friction, so I really don't have to hit it. The, let the ball do the work. We can just hit our target and make some good shots. I think we'll be all right. So that was our first game. So really, I just started taking my full approach, just got warmed up. That last shot was a strike, I'm lined up. And that's usually how like my first game goes in practice. Then I like try to continue making good shots, continue repeating, see the transition, see what's happening with the lanes. Let's go, let's see what I shoot. 